Hey guys, welcome to my top five countdown of multi-generic films. The first film on my countdown completely split audiences. If you went into the cinema blind not knowing what the story was about, you got the shock of your life when dinner was served. However you feel about the twist in the film, you can't deny its cultural impact on cinema. This is my number five. You be cool. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Low profile. You understand the meaning of the words low profile? Sure. Two of America's most dangerous criminals have taken hostages. What is this? It's called a punch. I'm going to ask you one question, and all I want is a yes or no answer. Do you want to live through this? Yes. Okay, ramblers, let's get rambling. One night is all that stands between them and freedom. This is my kind of place. But it's going to be one hell of a night. We might be in trouble. There are a bunch of fucking vampires out there trying to get in here and suck our fucking blood. Now, their only chance is to fight back. Oh, yeah! George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Juliet Lewis. Welcome to slavery. No thanks. I already had a wife. From dusk till dawn. Fantasy and horror are mixed with biblical mythology in this film. Based on a comic book, this is my number four. What? Cold. You know about this? No. <laughs> Mr. Constantine, I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know the circles you travel in, the occult exorcisms. Easy there, hero. That's Dragon's Breath. I thought you couldn't get it anymore. Oh, I, uh, <clears throat> I know a guy who knows a guy. I thought that you could at least point me in the right direction. Yeah, okay, sure. Please. What if I told you that God and the devil made a wager for the souls of all mankind? No direct contact with humans, that would be the rule. Just influence, see who would win. Demons stay in hell, angels in heaven. They call it the balance. I need to see what you see. You do this, there's no turning back. You see them. They see you. Understand? First published in 1911, this story went on to influence filmmakers and storytellers alike. It got its own adaptation in 2012 and many cite it as being responsible for influencing stories such as Superman, Star Wars, Avatar and Dune. This is my number three and it's... Fate has brought you here, John Carter. You may be the 
only one who can save us. film in my countdown is a period action drama that has elements of fantasy and a sprinkle of horror. It's got an international cast, it's badass, and it's my number two. took Europe by storm. Christoph Gans's masterpiece. Brotherhood of the Wolf. And who is number one? And who is number one? See what? It came out in 1986, but still remains one of my favorite films of all time. It has Chinese mythology, martial arts, fantasy, horror, romance, and comedy. I think it's John Carpenter's finest work. Some might say it's Halloween, but for me, it's always gonna be. This is Jack Burton in the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. It's a pretty amazing planet we live on here, and a man would have to be some kind of fool to think we're all alone in this universe. There is a hidden world where ancient evil weaves a modern mystery. What's going on here? Is this some kind of... Magic. The darkest magic. Ow! Yes. They call it Little China. Finally, we shall bring order out of chaos. <laughs> it's where big trouble was waiting for Jack Burton. Who? Jack Burton. Me. Jack. Jack? They told him to go to hell. He make one move. And that's just where he's going. Somebody, I don't care who, tell me what is going on. How are you going to spring us? I have no idea. There are many mysteries, many unanswerable questions, even in a life as short as yours. My destiny rests in your capable hands. Hey, I'll do my best. Take Cracker Jack timing, Wang. One, two, three. We may be trapped. Total concentration. Safety. Huh, yeah. You ready, Jack? 
I was born ready. Way to go, Jack. Jack Burton's coming to rescue your summer. Hey, what more can a guy ask for? 20th Century Fox presents Kurt Russell in John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China. It's all in the reflexes. 